Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, here is Van Amsen. Today we have an uh, interesting coding problem at uh, hand uh, from LitCode Daily Challenges. Validate binary tree node and the task uh, require us to check if the given node uh, form exactly one valid binary tree. So without any uh, further ado, let's dive into the problem. In this problem, we are given n binary tree nodes numbered from 0 to n minus 1 and each node i has uh, two children left child i and uh, right child i and our goal is to return true if and only if all the given nodes form exactly one valid binary tree and if a node has no left or right child the respective ri value will be minus 1 uh, so let's uh, take a look at example uh, so n uh, is 4 left child uh, 1 minus 1 3 minus 1 and right child uh, 2 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 and output is true uh, why because here we have four nodes and they all form a single valid binary tree so now uh, let's dive into logic for our uh, solution so uh, first we will calculate the integree of each node then we will identify the root node uh, and a node with uh, integree 0. And next, we will perform a BFS traversal starting from the root to visit all nodes and ensure there is no cycle. So finally, we will validate that all nodes have been visited. So, all right, uh, let's start coding. So we are given a solution and a method named uh, validate binary tree nodes. Uh, so, uh, we will uh, begin uh, by initializing uh, yeah, uh, in degree. So let's dive into coding. So in degree zero times uh, n initialize in degree of all nodes to zero. So and build uh, the in degree ri in a single pass. Uh, so, uh, we begin by initializing uh, an in degree array to keep track of the in degree of each node. And now let's build uh, the in degree uh, array. So, how we do this? So, for i in range n if left child not minus 1 uh, in degree left child i plus 1 and if right child i not minus 1 in degree right child i plus 1 and find the root node with in degree 0 uh, okay so root known uh, for in range n if in degree i is 0 and if root is known uh, root i else uh, return false more than one root uh, okay so uh, now if uh, there is no root uh, it's not a valid uh, tree uh, so, if there is no root, if root is known, then return false. And visited will be false times n. So, now uh, let's traverse uh, the tree using uh, BFS and check. Uh, for any uh, particular uh, cycles. So Q will be the Q root and while Q uh, node Q pop left uh, and if visited node yeah, it's visited return false because uh, already visited this node, so it's not valid. It's three, 
and visited node will be true. And if left child node not minus one, Q append our left child node. And if right child node not minus one as well, uh, Q append right child node. So quite straightforward. And now a return sum of visited uh, for n if all nodes are visited. It's a valid tree. Uh, okay, so lastly, we validate if all nodes have been uh, visited. Uh, so now let's uh, test uh, our code with uh, some uh, yeah, previously mentioned uh, test cases to ensure it's working as expected. So I'm running it and yeah, all good. So uh, for previously mentioned test case, output true, uh, forming uh, just uh, one binary tree. And second test case, uh, obviously false. Okay, so now let's submit it to verify for unseen test cases as well, because they might be a bit more tricky, but yeah, hopefully uh, we uh, pass. So yeah, beating 50% uh, with respect to runtime and even 99.1 uh, with respect uh, with memory. So really good. Uh, previously I submitted uh, so the same code beating 95% with respect to memory and 82 with uh, respect uh, to uh, runtime. So uh, small uh, differences between uh, runtime, but uh, basically all good. So, and there we have it, our code works perfectly and efficiently solve the problem. And if you enjoyed this uh, live coding session, uh, yeah, make sure to hit the like button, share and subscribe for more uh, coding challenges, uh, adventure, uh, tutorial, machine learning, uh, and much more uh, in the future. And until next time, uh, keep coding, keep learning, and yeah, happy coding, and see you next time.